Hello. I thought I'd do a seasonal ASMR video as it's coming up to my favourite time of year. And it's been a while since I've done an ASMR video on this channel. I have got one that I've already done. Um, but for some reason it's been sitting in in my computer and actually hasn't been uploaded so I need to actually upload that but I also thought this particular video I'm going to do today is going to be a seasonal take on the popular ASMR videos that um, have been doing the rounds for years along the lines of what's in my bag so this one is called what's in my cauldron. I also thought it would be a good opportunity as it's Samhain, as it's Halloween um, to show uh, to reveal something um, specific about myself that a lot of people have been asking for a while um, which is why I don't show my right hand there's been some speculation and I have been hesitating for a long time about whether to explain why but I thought what better time of year then to show my right hand than Halloween um, so it's a condition that I was born with and I I'm not prepared to name the condition on YouTube simply because I don't want to have anything to identify my personal life um, and I want to keep my personal life and my career absolutely separate from this channel as separate as possible um, but I'm quite happy to show my right hand now I think now is the right time to see how people respond to that. Um, of course I hope it doesn't interfere with people's relaxation. Um, I don't see why it would, but I know that a lot of people do have um, uh, misunderstandings or discomfort with disability. Um, but I will be showing my hand during the course of this video. Um, it's it's simply that I have three fingers missing on my right hand. Um, but as you will soon see, it doesn't stop me doing anything, really. It just looks different. But I think this is a perfect time to show it. Being Halloween, um, and it being quite witch-themed. So here we go. So, um, let's get started. This is my beautiful cauldron. Let's move this little cheeky bitch out of the way. So I bought this cauldron um, a long time ago, many years ago, in a place in Yorkshire in Whitby and it's a cast iron cauldron because I have used it for quite a lot of spells um, it can be used as well as an incense burner and it's, it's flame proof of course and on the front it's a pentangle it's 
pretty heavy, despite its size. So there were other heavier ones, or rather there were larger ones, um, but I was away with my partner and um, it would have been impossible to take it all the way back on the train, so, and I also quite like the size of this cauldron too. And it kind of drew me to it. in my cauldron. Let's move this thing out of the way just in case my ASMR video turns into a pyrotechnic Disaster. This is a beautiful fairy piece that I bought, or rather, I was given um, twenty five years ago. And I've always kept it close to me. I always thought it reminded me of um, fairy life. I just like the sound it makes. Oh, and the lid goes on. It's got that satisfying sound. As a child I'd put all kinds of things in these herbs and um, just herbs in the kitchen. And I used to collect semi-precious stones. But now what I have in it. Very lovely mm, can't see quite get the camera to focus. Maybe I'll try one at a time. Two very lovely shells. up on a beach in the Channel Islands this summer with my oh, with my daughter so collecting shells this amazing brightly coloured shell never seen anything quite so bright Sorry, the camera keeps going out of focus, I can't quite get it right. You can really see the detail in the shell. It's quite difficult, isn't it, to get it focused? I think it probably just looks a bit blurry, which is a shame. Not that making it worse. Never mind. I'll take my word for it, you 
it's stunning. The purple in particular is um, got stripes, purple and cream stripes with a hint of mother of pearl. is what my aunt gave me before I went to university. It's 12 years ago. I miss rose quartz in the heart shape. And I used to sleep with it under my pillow. If I had lovely long nails that a lot of the other ASMR artists have. I'd be able to tap it, but I don't think it would sound as good with my short nails. This piece is a pendant of a necklace I used to wear. It's a pendangle of course, and with a pendangle it's each point represents the element. So earth, air, fire, water, spirit. I don't tend to wear necklaces these days since having my daughter. Um, she still nurses. Um, and so she tends to grab any necklaces I have around my neck so it's safer if I keep it separately. But this is a very powerful symbol for me. And along the same theme, this may be a bit of a controversial item to share with you, but I, it's very special to me. I thought I'd share. I wonder if some of you can guess what this is. It's a pendant. And the shapes inside are made out of my breast milk. And it's a celebration of my nursing relationship with my two-year-old. So I got this made from a lovely lady in the States. Sells um, all kinds of custom made jewellery in any shape, any format, any colour you, you'd like. And green is one of my favourite colours. I'd like to be able to wear it again, but because it's very special, I don't want it, don't want it broken or lost. And when that sad day comes when my daughter stops nursing, then I'll be able to wear it again because that will be a reminder of Ara, very special, beautiful mother-daughter, mother-child bond. item has been shown in a video before. This, of course, is a paperweight. But, it's a really great meditative item. really get lost, get lost in the bubbles. It reminds me of some of the bubbles of 
crystal balls they use in the film The Labyrinth with David Bowie. If some of you grew up with that amazing film as a child. <laughs> I know I did. And it reminds me of that. You know, I can't actually remember where I got this or how long I've had it. I don't actually think I've had her that long. But she's very special to me. Calmly, please. And that's where I'll leave it for now. Sorry, did I not put you back properly? This is simply just a fridge magnet. <laughs> flown all around the house because my little one loves magnets and um, she likes witches. I can't think where she got that obsession from. So all that remains to be said now is Happy Halloween. And may all your wishes come true. Happy New Year.